In this second tutorial, we will see how to set up the maps in Blender. We will be using the same setup of the Auto Eye as an example, but it works fine in other common setups too. Hide the square corner mesh and let's start adding the maps to the Iris Pupil mesh. Create a new material and give it a proper name. Now split the viewport and change the editor type to the shader editor. To be more practical, we will use the Node Wrangler add-on to set up the maps for us. So make sure to have it enabled by clicking on Edit, then go to the Add-ons tab and search for the Node Wrangler add-on. Now with the mouse over the shader editor, hit N on your keyboard and click on the Node Wrangler tab. Click on Add Principal Setup and navigate to the folder where you saved the baked maps, except for the corner mask. We will add it later. Now, as you can see, they don't set up all the maps for us and even choose the right color space for each map. Let's enter on the material preview and see what's happening. The first thing we need to fix is the bump. Let's change the strength to 0.25 and the distance to 0.1. Feel free to tweak these values to your own taste. The next thing we need to do is the mapping. On the front view, enter in Edit mode, hit U on your keyboard and choose Project from View Bounds. Now change the shader editor to the UV editor so we can adjust the mapping to fit the iris texture. Select all and scale down like shown in the video. Overlap these two outside loops on the top of the dark ring. And we finish with the iris and pupil mesh. Unhide the square corner mesh and apply the same material of the iris pupil. Make it single user by clicking on the number so this way we can keep the maps linked between the materials. With the square corner mesh selected, enter in edit mode and select the loop on the center of the mesh. Go to the Edge menu and choose Mark Scene. Change the Select mode to Face and with your mouse over the mesh, hit L on your keyboard to select the front part of the square. Now on the front view, hit U and choose Project from View Bounds. On the UV editor, hit T to show the tools and click and hold on the Select icon to access the lasso option. Select the center part of the mapping, like shown, and scale down to fit the iris texture. Keep it selected, go to the UV menu and click on Pin. Now with your mouse over the UV editor, hit U to unwrap the mesh and adjust some of the loops like shown on the video. Back on the viewport, select the back part of the mesh using the shortcut L. Hit U and choose Unwrap this time. On the UV editor, scale it down and place this part on the corner of the texture. Don't worry, usually this part will not appear when the eye is placed on your character. Ok, now change the UV editor to the shader editor, we will add the corner mask to the material. I am using the Node Custom Builder add-on to load the glass setup that I use for the corner. This setup is recommended on the Blender manual to reduce the noise and give brighter shadows on glass materials. Take your time to pause the video and create the setup. When it's ready, add a mixed shader and plug the glass setup on the second input. Now duplicate the basic color node, load the corner mask map and plug it on the factor of the mixed shader. Remember to leave the color space of the mask on sRGB. The last thing we need to do is to make the corner works on the material preview. So change the render engine to Eevee, enable the screen space reflections and also the refraction option. And lastly, go to the square corner material and enable the screen space reflection on the material settings. Everything should be working now, on Eevee, Cycles and on the Material Preview.